I was tinkering with my Canon RF 100-500 lens and thought it might be interesting to see how two cameras would handle an ISO as high as 12,800. So, I mounted the lens onto both my Canon EOS R5 and my Canon EOS R7 bodies. I set the shutter speed on both bodies to 1 25th of a second. The focal length of the lens is at the 500mm mark. The aperture on both bodies was set to f7.1, which is the most open aperture for this particular lens at this focal length. I'm shooting in an extreme low light situation from across the house at a picture that's on a stand, so keep in mind that some of the artifacts you're going to see are dust on the picture, and not necessarily a result of the high ISO setting. First up is the Canon EOS R5 image. The image is uncropped and zoomed all the way out so that it will fill the frame. This is how Adobe Lightroom sees the image, which shows quite a bit of high ISO noise. Now I'll zoom in to 100%, so you can see the noise of just a raw image from the Canon R5 at an ISO of 12800. It's not very pretty, and I've personally found that Adobe Lightroom by itself does not handle high ISO images from Canon cameras very well at all. So, for the most part, I use DxO Pure Raw version 3 on my raw files. With DxO Pure Raw, you have four methods of export. These methods include HQ, which is the lowest level and offers the least amount of cleanup. Then you have Prime, Deep Prime, and Deep Prime XD, which increase the sharpening and noise reduction accordingly. Instead of just saying which method I personally feel is best, I ran these through all four methods so you can see for yourself. First up is the file just using Lightroom from the raw image. Second is the image after being processed with the HQ method of DxO Pure Raw. Third is the image after being processed with the Prime method. Fourth is the image after being processed with the Deep Prime method. And finally, the image after being processed with the Deep Prime XD method. Personally, I don't see a lot of advantages in the Deep Prime versus the Deep Prime XD methods. But I do see a very drastic improvement between HQ and Prime and then a moderate improvement between Prime and Deep Prime. Let's zoom these into 100% so we can see if we can detect any changes between all five of these methods. First the raw file through Lightroom. Second, the file using the HQ method. Third, the file using the Prime method. Fourth, the file using the Deep Prime method. And lastly, the file using the Deep Prime XD method. You can see that the sharpness and noise reduction gradually get better with each method. But that's all with the Canon R5. Now let us take a look at how this image appears from the Canon R7 with the same lens, with the same settings, from the same distance. You should naturally expect more noise from a crop sensor camera than you would get from a full frame camera. But the noise from the Canon R7 really isn't that much worse than the Canon R5. Looking at both the Canon R5 and R7 images together with the raw files straight from Adobe Lightroom we can see that the noise patterns are very similar. But zooming in to 100% will tell the true story. First up is the image from the Canon R5. Second, the image from the Canon R7. And looking at both images at 100% zoom, side by side, we can see that the noise really is very similar. And again, we see that using Adobe Lightroom for high ISO RAW files from Canon cameras is not optimal. So let's look at these images, side by side, from DxO Pure RAW. First, the high quality method. Second, the prime method. Third, the deep prime method. And lastly, the deep prime XD method. The bottom line is that these two cameras can produce usable images at high ISO settings, if you use the right software to process them. I'd like to mention that this video is not sponsored by anyone, these are my own personal pieces of equipment, and I purchased the software that I'm using. I just wanted to share my experience with anyone that may be curious. I will include the two raw files in the description if you want to experiment with them. If you found this video helpful, please click on like, and look for our other videos.